Do engine flush additives actually clean your engine? Or are they expensive snake oil that does more harm than good? I've been a mechanic for 25 years, and I've heard every opinion on engine flushes. Some swear they saved their high mileage engine. Others claim they destroyed theirs by clogging oil passages with loosened sludge. The debates rage on automotive forums with everyone having a strong opinion, but very few people actually testing these products side by side. So I did something most mechanics won't do. I tested the three most popular engine flush additives, Seafoam, Leaky Moly Proline Engine Flush, and Amsoil Engine and Transmission Flush, in three identical high mileage engines under controlled conditions. Same make, same model, same mileage, same driving history. I used each product exactly as directed, drained the oil, cut open the filters, and inspected what actually came out. The results surprised me. One product clearly outperformed the others, but not the one most people expect. Today, I'm revealing what actually happened, which flush delivered the best cleaning, and whether any of them are worth the money. Let's see which one wins. Before we dive into the test results, let's understand what these products claim to do and why the debate exists. An engine flush is an aftermarket chemical additive engineered to clean accumulated deposits, sludge, and varnish from your engine's internal components. You pour it into your oil, idle the engine for 10 to 15 minutes, then drain everything and refill with fresh oil. The goal is removing contamination that normal oil changes leave behind. Here's why this is controversial. Engine flushes work by using potent detergents and solvents to dissolve deposits. The fear is that aggressive cleaning will free large chunks of sludge that clog oil passages, starving the engine of lubrication. This risk is real, which is why mechanics are divided on whether flushing does more good than harm. However, there's also legitimate science supporting engine flushes. Motor oil contains limited concentrations of detergents because it must perform multiple functions, lubrication, oxidation resistance, rust prevention, and more. An engine flush product contains nothing but concentrated detergents, making it a more effective cleaner than regular oil. The question is whether that aggressive cleaning is safe. For this test, I chose the three most popular and widely recommended products based on automotive forums, consumer reviews, and mechanic recommendations. Product number one, Seafoam SF16 Motor Treatment. Seafoam is probably the most well-known engine treatment product in North America. It's been around for decades and has a cult following among DIY mechanics. According to consumer reviews, hundreds of customers choose it as an engine flush additive and most were satisfied with its performance. Seafoam is marketed as a multipurpose treatment. You can add it to fuel tanks, oil crankcases, or spray it into intake systems. For engine flushing, you add the 16-ounce bottle to your oil, idle for 10 to 15 minutes, then change the oil. The formula contains petroleum-based cleaning and lubricating ingredients designed to liquefy built-up gum residues and varnish deposits. It's safe for all engines, doesn't contain harsh solvents, and is generally considered gentle enough to avoid damaging seals or gaskets. Cost, about $12 to $15 per 16-ounce bottle, making it the most budget-friendly option in this comparison. Product number two, Leaky Moly 2037 Proline Engine Flush. Leaky Moly is a German brand with a strong reputation in Europe, particularly among German car owners. Their Proline Engine Flush is consistently rated as one of the best engine flush products available. According to multiple independent reviews, this formula is quick and easy to use and prolongs engine lifespan by effectively removing sludge and deposits. The product is a concentrated detergent formula containing 70 to 94% naphtha solvent. It's designed to dissolve deposits at the molecular level, ensuring contaminants properly exit with the oil when drained. The company specifically advertises that their flush does not attack seals and gaskets, addressing one of the major concerns with aggressive cleaners. One 500 milliliter bottle is recommended for engines holding five liters of oil, so larger engines may require multiple bottles. You add it to warm oil, idle for 10 minutes, then drain immediately. Cost, about $20 to $25 per bottle, making it the mid-range option in terms of price. Product number three, Amsoil Engine and Transmission Flush. Amsoil is an American synthetic oil manufacturer known for premium products and extended drain intervals. Their flush product is engineered specifically for cleaning without harsh solvents. According to the company, Amsoil Engine and Transmission Flush contains potent detergents that clean at the molecular level, ensuring deposits are dissolved and properly exit the engine. The Amsoil Flush is formulated to be non-solvent based, 
meaning it doesn't contain the aggressive petroleum distillates found in some competitors. This makes it gentler on seals while still providing effective cleaning. The product can be used in both engines and certain types of transmissions. You add the flush to your oil, idle for 10 to 15 minutes, then drain and refill. Amsoil specifically recommends not stressing the engine during the flush period. Idle only, no driving, no load. Cost, about $25 to $30 per bottle, making it the most expensive option but also marketed as the safest for modern engines with turbochargers. Now let's talk about the test procedure I used to compare these products fairly. I sourced three 2015 Honda Accord sedans with the 2.4-liter inline-four engine. All three had between 145,000 and 152,000 miles. All three had sketchy maintenance histories with visible valve cover sludge and contaminated oil filters at baseline inspection. Each vehicle received one of the three flush products, used exactly according to manufacturer directions. I warmed each engine to operating temperature, added the flush to the existing oil, idled for the recommended time, 10 minutes for leaky moly, 15 minutes for seafoam and amsoil, then immediately drained the oil while warm. I collected the drained oil in clean containers, cut open the used oil filters, and inspected both for contamination. This tells the real story of what each product removed from the engine. After draining, I installed new filters, refilled with the same quality synthetic oil in all three vehicles, and drove each for 500 miles. Then I repeated the oil change, again collecting samples and cutting filters to see if additional contamination continued draining out. This two-stage approach reveals both immediate cleaning effectiveness and whether the flush loosened deposits that continued exiting during subsequent driving. Let's start with the results from seafoam. When I drained the oil after the seafoam flush, the fluid was noticeably darker than the oil I drained during baseline inspection. This indicates the product did loosen some contamination. The used filter showed moderate particulate accumulation, more than a standard oil change but not dramatically heavy. Under close inspection, the filter media contained fine carbon particles and some metallic shavings consistent with normal wear. Nothing alarming, but also nothing that suggested aggressive deep cleaning. During the 500-mile drive period after flushing, the engine ran normally. No unusual noises, no oil pressure issues, no warning lights. When I changed the oil again at 500 miles, it came out cleaner than the flush drain but still darker than fresh oil would be after 500 miles in a clean engine. Cutting open the second filter showed less contamination than the flush filter but still some ongoing particulate shedding. This suggests sea foam loosened surface level deposits but didn't penetrate deeply into baked on sludge. The verdict on sea foam, it works, but gently. It's the safest option for engines where you're concerned about loosening too much material at once. It provides gradual cleaning rather than aggressive solvent action. For its price point and safety profile, it's a solid choice for routine maintenance on engines that haven't been severely neglected. Next, let's look at leaky moly results. The oil drained after leaky moly flush was significantly darker and thicker than the seafoam results. Visually, it appeared to contain more suspended contamination. This is what you want to see. It means the product is actually pulling deposits out of the engine. The used filter from the leaky moly flush was heavily contaminated. Cutting it open revealed dense accumulation of carbon particles, sludge residue, and fine metallic wear particles. This was the dirtiest filter of the three initial flushes, indicating the most aggressive cleaning action. However, this also raises the concern about debris clogging passages. In this test, oil pressure remained normal throughout, suggesting the oil pump pickup screen didn't become blocked. But this is the risk everyone warns about with aggressive flushes. During the 500-mile drive period, the engine ran smoothly. When I changed oil again, it came out noticeably cleaner than after the flush, but still showed some contamination. The second filter also showed continued particulate shedding, though less than the flush filter. Inspecting under the valve cover after the test, the leaky moly treated engine showed visibly cleaner surfaces compared to baseline. Sludge that had been caked on before was significantly reduced. The cleaning effect was real and observable. The verdict on leaky moly, this is the most aggressive cleaner of the three. It removes the most deposits in a single treatment. However, that aggressiveness carries risk. If your engine is heavily sludged, you're gambling on whether debris will clog passages. For moderately contaminated engines or engines where you can drop the oil pan afterward to inspect the pickup screen, Leaky Moly delivers impressive results. Finally, let's examine Amsoil results. 
The oil drained after Amsoil Flush was darker than Baseline, but not as dramatically dark as Leaky Moly. It appeared to contain moderate suspended contamination, falling between sea foam and Leaky Moly in visual assessment. The used filter from Amsoil Flush showed good contamination levels, more than sea foam, but slightly less than Leaky Moly. Under inspection, the filter media contained fine carbon particles, minimal metallic content, and what appeared to be dissolved varnish deposits. What stood out about Amsoil was the consistency of the contamination. Rather than chunks or heavy particles, everything appeared finely dispersed. This aligns with their claim of cleaning at the molecular level, breaking deposits down into small enough particles that they pass through the oil system without clogging. During the 500-mile drive period, the engine ran exceptionally smoothly. When I changed oil again, it came out cleaner than any of the other test vehicles. The second filter showed minimal ongoing contamination, suggesting Amsoil removed deposits more completely in the initial flush. Inspecting under the valve cover revealed significant cleaning. Surfaces were visibly cleaner than baseline, though perhaps marginally less dramatically improved than leaky moly. However, the quality of the cleaning appeared more thorough, less residue left behind, more complete removal. The verdict on Amsoil. This product strikes the best balance between aggressive cleaning and safety. It removes substantial contamination without the risk profile of solvent-based flushes. The molecular level cleaning claim appears legitimate based on the fine particle size in the filter and the reduced ongoing contamination after the flush. Quick question before we reveal the winner. Have you ever used an engine flush product? And if so, which one? Drop your experience in the comments. Did it help, hurt, or make no noticeable difference? And if you're finding this comparison useful, hit that like button. Based on testing all three products under controlled conditions, here's my ranking and recommendation. Third place, Seafoam SF16. This is the gentlest option and the most budget-friendly. It provides gradual cleaning without risk of loosening catastrophic amounts of debris. However, it's also the least effective at deep cleaning. If your engine is well-maintained and you just want periodic light cleaning, Seafoam works. But for engines with significant contamination, it won't make a dramatic difference. Second place, Leaky Moly Proline Engine Flush. This is the most aggressive cleaner and removes the most deposits in a single treatment. If your goal is maximum cleaning power and you're willing to accept some risk, Leaky Moly delivers. However, the aggressive solvent action makes it the riskiest option for heavily sludged engines. I'd only recommend this if you're planning to drop the oil pan afterward and physically inspect the pickup screen. First place, Amsoil Engine and Transmission Flush. This is the winner based on overall performance, safety profile, and cleaning effectiveness. It removes substantial contamination without excessive risk, breaks deposits down to molecular level preventing passage clogging, works quickly in just 15 minutes, and leaves engines running smoother with less ongoing contamination. The Amsoil Flush costs more than seafoam but delivers significantly better results. It costs about the same as Leaky Moly but with better safety characteristics. For the price difference of $10 to $15 per treatment, the superior performance and reduced risk make Amsoil worth it. Now let's address the big question. Do you actually need engine flush products? The honest answer, most engines maintained with regular oil changes using quality synthetic oil don't need aggressive flushing. If you've been diligent about maintenance, your engine is likely clean enough that a flush provides minimal benefit. However, engine flushes make sense in specific situations. When you buy a used vehicle with unknown or questionable maintenance history. When you've discovered sludge buildup under the valve cover or oil cap. When switching from conventional to synthetic oil after extended use. Before a long road trip or selling a high mileage vehicle. As periodic maintenance every 50,000 to 75,000 miles on engines driven in severe conditions. If you decide to use an engine flush, follow these critical rules. Only idle the engine during the flush period, never drive or load it. Drain the oil immediately after the recommended flush time. Always change the oil filter along with the flush. Consider doing a second oil change after 500 to 1000 miles to remove any remaining contamination. Inspect your oil level and pressure frequently in the weeks following a flush. And most importantly, if your engine shows signs of heavy sludge buildup, consider dropping the oil pan after flushing to physically clean the pump pickup screen. This eliminates the biggest risk of engine damage from aggressive flushing. The bottom line on engine flushes. They work, but they're not miracle products. Amsoil engine and transmission flush is the best option based on effectiveness, 
safety, and overall results in this test. Leaky Moly is more aggressive but riskier. Sea foam is safer but less effective. For most drivers, I recommend Amsoil if you're going to use a flush product. The extra $10 to $15 over sea foam buys you significantly better cleaning with minimal additional risk. If you're on a tight budget and your engine isn't heavily contaminated, sea foam provides adequate cleaning. Avoid leaky moly unless you're experienced with engine work and can inspect the oil pan afterward. Its aggressive cleaning power is impressive, but the risk of clogging passages makes it unsuitable for DIY use on heavily sludged engines. Remember, the best engine maintenance is preventing sludge in the first place. Change your oil at reasonable intervals with quality synthetic, drive your vehicle long enough to reach full operating temperature regularly, and you'll never need aggressive flushing products. Next week, I'm testing oil additives like Lucas and STP to see if they actually reduce engine wear or if they're just expensive placebos. I'll be running before and after oil analysis to show what these products actually do to your oil's chemistry. The results might surprise you. If this comparison helped you decide which flush product is worth buying, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We test automotive products with real science every week so you don't waste money on snake oil. Drop a comment with which flush you're going to try based on this test, or tell me if you've had different experiences with these products. I read every comment. Thanks for watching, and remember, a clean engine is a happy engine, but prevention beats aggressive cleaning every time.